So I have this pineapple open in Photoshop and you can see it's not a perfect image by any means, but we're gonna apply some effects to it to make it look a lot more interesting. So what I like to do here is you can go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And what we wanna do is we wanna add some blur to this because we wanna round out these corners and it's just going to make this illustration look a lot more interesting and the other thing i want to do here let's cancel out of that let's go ahead and just duplicate this layer because i think we want to maybe apply more blur to the bottom and less to the top so we can kind of use these separately so let's go and we're in this top layer here and let's go filter blur gaussian blur and let's just turn this up till these edges start looking nice and rounded and click OK. And the next thing we want to do after that is go image adjustments threshold. And that'll take everything that was somewhere between black and white and it'll force it to either 100% white or 100% black. And I think the bottom of this pineapple is now looking really good because of that. This top part is looking a little weird and kind of bubbly, but we like the bottom here, so let's just click OK. And let's do the same effect to this bottom layer, but what I want to do is I want to blur this less. So let's go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. The last time we did 17.6 pixels, of radius of blur. So let's just dial that back. You know, somewhere between eight and nine looks pretty good. We'll click OK and let's do image adjustments threshold again. And now this top part is looking a lot better. We can play with the threshold level to kind of thin things out. You know, it, it's starting to look a little weird if I do that. Or if you go the other way, it'll really thicken things up. So you have a lot of room to play with here. Let's just do it at 120. I'll click OK. So what I want to do is with this top layer, I'll just make a lasso selection here and just delete that. So now you're seeing the leaves of the bottom layer and let's just flatten this. So layer, flatten image. The other thing we can do is I want to bring this into Adobe Illustrator turn it to vector. You know, we're, we're really going to deal with the invert of this image. So do a command I, control I, or image adjustments, invert. It's all the same thing. We can either save this file or just select the part of the image we want and copy it. And let's go into Adobe Illustrator. So what I want to do here is let's make a new Illustrator document. And the size doesn't really matter. I usually do a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel RGB file. Click OK. And the next thing I want to do is go Command V. And now I've pasted in this pineapple. And it's a raster image. It's a pixel image. So you'll see if I zoom in, you know, you'll see those pixel edges on it. With this kind of drawing, we can just use the default image trace setting. So just click Image Trace and then click expand and all of a sudden you'll see the vector points in there. So let's double click on this, click on some of the white and then select same fill color and hit delete. And now when we select this, it should just be the black pineapple. Now there's a couple things I wanna do with this pineapple. So let's separate the leaves from the bottom here. So I double click to isolate that and now I can just Select that bottom part, cut it, and then double click to get out of isolation mode, and then just Command Shift V to paste in front. Now you'll see all these pieces are all separate, so let's just go in there and select them all again and hit Command or Control G to group them. And something is making me want to turn this just a little bit um, the other thing I want to do here is see how this is like a, kind of a nice, perfect ellipse. I actually want to flatten out the edges here just a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. So, C 
Command or Control H to just hide the vector points so you can see, see what I'm doing here. So let's go Effect, Warp, Inflate, and you'll see how it, it gets really weird. But what we can do is we can just drag this slider the other way. And the more I go, see how it's kind of flattening it out? We don't want it that flat, but it's kind of like it's just flattening out these edges a little bit. So it's not so much of a perfect ellipse. And I'll click OK. Now for the top here, there's actually not too much to do. That's, that's looking pretty good. You know, you could scale it, move it around a little bit. And that is essentially the workflow that I use a lot of the times. Now you'll notice also, let me um, select this, go Command H, so you can see the vector points. If you, want, if you want to apply this effect, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now that's just the effect is applied to that pineapple. So there you go. That is the workflow method for creating t-shirt illustrations in Procreate, Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator.